Let's take our time tonight. Oh, above us all the stars are watching. There's no place I'd rather be in this world. Your eyes are where I'm lost. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. This is a prom makeup tutorial. Regardless, if you're going to prom or you're not going to prom and you just like are looking for a black smoky eye tutorial, this still is the look for you. I'm just going to be referencing referencing prom a lot throughout the video. Nonetheless, this is a black smoky eye as you guys see. I decided to do something a little different. So I bought this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in internal black. It's just, you know, one of the infallible shadows. And usually when they are, they are black shadows that have a sparkle to it, it usually doesn't show up. This one I was really thoroughly surprised because it did show up. So I decided to do kind of like a, a black glittery galaxy smoky eye, so to speak, without any glitter. So there was no glitter, so you don't have to worry about fallout, glitter glue, this and a third. So this is just a, a black smoky eye. If you don't have the eyeshadow, because I think... This was discontinued in most stores, but my store where I work still has it. Then you can go in, go out and find it. If not, you can just use a glitter. If not, you can just use a matte black shadow and just pack that all over the lid. So this look, I also use all affordable shadows. <sighs> Actually, <laughs> I just looked at my lip gloss that I used and it was a MAC lip gloss. And I did not do that on purpose. That was completely on accident. So... Just disregard that. You can just put whatever lip gloss you want. And I also did use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. You guys know I always have to use that to set my eyes over my under eye because that's just a fit my favorite way. I just look the best personally when I use it. But everything else is completely affordable, drugstore even, um, except what I use to conceal my eyes, which I also forgot about. Sorry. But <laughs> I also use this BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I only use like the highlighter out of it and an eyeshadow, but this is so good, you guys. This palette is so good. I raved about it in my last prom makeup tutorial. I'm trying to make this a prom series for you guys, so that way you guys have so many different looks to choose from to go to prom. So I know a lot of people wear black and or accents of black, and if you feel like this black smoky eye weighs too much, you can tone it down, maybe use like a champagne color or something like that, but I wanted to do a black smoky eye because a lot of people wear something like this or something black or with a hint of black or something. This is just going to be really sultry and smoky if you have the right makeup artist do it. If you're like me and your mom can't afford to get your makeup done, then you can practice and practice and practice and practice. Hopefully I have this look up in an adequate amount of time so you have some time to practice. So. If you guys want me to do talk through videos, maybe a talk through prom makeup tutorial, I can definitely do that. But that is pretty much all I have. I don't want to make this too long because you guys know I'm Chatty Cathy. I talk all the time. But I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Alright you guys, so I am starting off this look by priming my lids. I'm using a Krylon concealer wheel to do so just to cancel any darkness or anything that could be on my eyelid. And also to prime for shadows. And then I'm using my NYX matte eyeshadow. This is in the shade Dance the Tides. I'm using a huge fluffy brush by Sigma. Just to blend the shade up into my upper crease. To be a bridge slash transition shade. This I'm just doing in windshield wiper motions. And right now I'm doing small circular buffing motions. And then I am going to go into a chocolate brown shade. I'm using the shade Cafe A Light. A Light. Cafe A Light. That's what I'm going to go with. It's just a matte brown shade and I'm taking that on a Sigma E25 blending brush and working this into the crease shade as my bridge between the black and this reddish brown shade. And then I go into the shade Control by Sigma and I'm taking a Sigma E25 blending brush. This is a really firm, dense blending brush and it's really going to tuck the shade right into the crease. Now when you're working with black, you can. Like right now, it's very harsh, doesn't look very blended so it can look like you have black eyes. But I'm going all the way from out in that outer cor corner out into the inner corner and just blending the shade back and forth, back and forth and also taking a little bit more just to deepen and darken it. And then because as I mentioned, it started to look a little muddy, I just go back in with the previous shade and just start to blend that. And I kind of do that back and forth for a little while. And then I'm using the shade um, either 
uh, ethno or uh, eternal black it's just like the shade number 999 but it looks really really pretty you guys it's a stunning kind of like black with like silver reflects um eyeshadow and you know you guys know these infallible shadows are really creamy and really 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 blendable these are so pretty so i'm packing that all over to the center of the lid then i take the nyx slide on glide on eye pencil in the shade black just do tight lines so no skin is speaking through also i put on my coco Lashes in the style Amore, I believe, just to my eyelids. And then I take my um, L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Priming Base. You guys know, you see this in almost every single video, literally. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite primers to use. It just fills in the pores, makes my skin so smooth. And then I go with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Stick Foundation. This is the Shine Free Foundation. And I just put that all over my face. This is in the shade Coconut. I love stick foundations. They just give more like a more flawless of a coverage. So I'm putting that all over my face and then I'm going to blend that out and I'm going to use an e.l.f. round top kabuki brush. I got this from Target probably about a couple of years. No, probably about a couple months ago actually. And it's so soft, you guys. It's so soft. It's so dense and it just blends out stick foundation so beautifully. And then who knows what the hell I was doing right there. <laughs> and then I use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and I'm using this to highlight. I wanted a more bright kind of out there kind of highlight. And if you don't like something like this, you can use something closer to your skin tone. Toffee is a lot less yellow based, but I find that I like a little bit more yellow based. So I'm blending that out with a beauty blender and then I'm going to set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I am taking this powder and pressing it directly into the skin. If you do have a little bit more oily skin than I do, you can allow it to bake. By baking, it's just soaking up any excess oil into the powder and then you can brush it away and or push it into the skin like I am right now. And then I also am using my Black Radiance Contour Palette. This is in the shade medium to dark. I'm using a Real Techniques contouring brush. I have fallen in love with this palette all over again. Like I just went and got a brand new one because this one is looking a little rough and it's almost gone. But this palette is the bomb.com if you need something in your a little bit darker or my shade or a little bit darker to use to contour or even lighter if you want to. And then for blush, I'm using a number seven blush. You can get this at your local Walgreens if it is beauty differentiated. And this is in the shade uh, Wild Berry. And I'm using it on a duo fiber brush just because this blush is very 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 pigmented and the duo fiber brush just kind of like shears it out a little bit as opposed to applying a ton of product to the cheek so after that i go back into the carly bible palette because it is a one like some of the best pigmented um pigmented highlighters i couldn't think of what it was so i'm using that with a bh cosmetics fan brush and just putting that onto the tops of my cheekbones i also take it on the sides of the forehead just because i have a large forehead and when i turn my face it kind of accentuates that as well and then i go back in with that contour palette and also contour the sides of my nose i just push the powder into the skin with my beauty blender as i do um, underneath of my eyes and then I take that same highlighter shade from the Carly Bible palette and put that onto the tip and the bridge of my nose to further slim it down to look a little bit more structured and then I take this shade it's like a lighter kind of um, frostier kind of like off-white shade and I put that into the inner corner so it ties in with the eye look um, just to brighten up the eyes I always love to put a pop of color in the inner corner it just makes it look a lot more bright and then I'm using this wet and wild photo focus uh, setting sprays first time I ever used it. I picked it up at CVS today So I don't really know how I like it yet And then I go back in with the NYX line on glide on pencil because I wanted this to be like completely blacked out So I just put that into the waterline and then I take Control again on a flat definer brush and just pack this and smudge this out onto the lower lash line first I just press it into the lower lash line and then I go in with an e30 pencil brush and use that to smoke out the lower lash line so that just really blows it out and kind of makes it look less harsh because when you first apply the black to the lower lash line, it can look a little bit harsh. So by smoking it out with a brown eyeshadow, it just makes it look more blown out. And then for lips, I go in with this NYX, NYX Liquid Suede Matte Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Soft Spoken. You guys know they have the corresponding liquid lipstick. So I'm using Soft Spoken. It's just a light kind of pink shade. And then I use this MAC 
lip gloss and this is in the shade lust this is discontinued i got it when i was down in st louis for like nine bucks because they were discontinu discontinuing it so i just put that onto my lips and then that pretty much wraps up my look you guys i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up also subscribe before you go and let me know what else you might be wearing for prom so that way i can pull more inspiration and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye